from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Henrico Schools hosts a signing day ceremony for students and a local community center celebrates 75 years. We'll tell you all about it in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Thursday, May 26, 2022. And it's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. Henrico Public Schools hosted its fourth annual Career and Technical Education Letter of Intent Signing Day on Tuesday to recognize 50 students who earned industry credentials through the CTE program and who will use those in their careers immediately after graduating next month. Students and representatives of their future employers signed letters of intent at the ceremony similar to signing day ceremonies for high school athletes who are committing to play in college. The CTE program supports programs and services in 12 middle schools, 9 high schools, 2 advanced career education centers, 2 adult education centers, as well as the Academy at Virginia Randolph and Virginia Randolph Education Center. Our Anna Bryson was at the event and has complete coverage right now on HenricoCitizen.com. You can click on News and Education to read it. Weinstein JCC celebrated its 75th anniversary on Sunday night and also the election of its new leadership team. The center first opened on Idlewood Avenue in 1946 and moved to its current location on Monument Avenue in the Henrico's near West End in 1956. Today it has more than 8,000 members. We were there for the celebration on Sunday and we've got complete coverage. You can check that out right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. Virginia's annual Click It or Ticket campaign is underway ahead of the Memorial Day season, according to Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles officials. The campaign is designed to encourage local drivers to use their seat belts or face a ticket from local law enforcement. The campaign last year yielded almost 1,000 safety belt violations along with 142 child restraint violations. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit dmv.virginia.gov backslash safety. Well, no surprise here that Henrico home prices on average rose by more than 8% in April when compared with the same month last year. According to the Virginia Realtors Home Sales Report for April, the median sales price in Henrico rose to $341,000. Sales were about 9% lower with, compared with April 2021 because of lower inventory. But Virginia Realtors President Denise Ramey said that price growth could slow across Virginia in the next several months as rising mortgage and interest rates may lower demand. The Memorial Day holiday will delay all Central Virginia Waste Management Authority collections ne next week by one day. There will be no collections on Monday. Red Week Recycling Collections in Henrico each will slide to the following day, which means that if your collections are scheduled for next Friday, they'll actually take place on Saturday instead. A commercial created for the Henrico Court Appointed Special Advocates received a silver award in the 43rd Annual Tele Awards. The commercial was created by local ad firm The Idea Center. It was CASA's first ever commercial, and the goal was to drive volunteers to help children who experience domestic violence. So far, the video has more than 65,000 views online. You can view it on our website, HenricoCitizen.com, by looking for this article. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit barnesfamilylaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.